Hey guys! So it's another end of the month. So it's another update for my Pandas Eyeshadow Challenge. So let's begin. So let's first start with my Going Coconuts. And I rolled in two shadows from this palette for the month of September. The first one was Lovely Bunch. And you can obviously tell that I already hit pan on this. After my August update, I've hit pan on this after just three uses. Which kinda still surprised me because at the start, this already had a little bit of a dip. But I didn't realize that I was that close already to hitting pan. So it really surprised me. So yeah, but I kept con I continued using it and I hit pan on this. And then the second one is Naughty, this dark brown shade. And you can tell I've already hit pan on this as well. I've ha I already had a dip in this as well even before I rolled this into the project so I'm glad I was able to hit pan on this. I've been just using this mainly as a um, darkening shade because I don't really wear very dark colors. So yeah, the pan is a little bit um, focused but I've been trying to wear it down on the sides but as a liner using liner brushes it's just hard to create an even pan out of this one but I'm glad that this is now out of my collection and so that means I only have two eligible shadows for this project and this is Colada and Shelia. And then this is from the I Think I Love You and the shade that I rolled in this project from last month's update was Let's Do It and it is this um, peachy warm shade. And yeah, obviously there's still no pan. The shadow is really hard pressed into the pan. So even if I use this a lot of times, I use this as a base. Even though I don't really wear um, setting shades, I, I wear it just to, prop, just to um, prep the skin for warmer shadows. Like right now, I'm wearing very warm eyeshadow. So every time I use warm shadow, I'd go for this first just to set it set the tone but still no pan. I've widened I've widened the dip a little bit but yeah still no pan. So I'm gonna continue using this in my project and I still enjoy the um shadow. You can, not sure if you can tell. It's just really close to my skin. It's a bit lighter but on the swatch again it's very hard pressed even if I really dig my fingers in there it won't create a lot of like pigment because it's the formula is just super stiff but i do love the color it's in here yeah it's this one i hope you can tell but yeah there's just really not a lot of pigment that comes out of this because the formula is very stiff and then the last two shades from my previous quintet is from my prism from Anastasia. And it's Saturn and Eternal. I was actually going to do my update a little bit earlier this this month, but I was trying to really pan Eternal. So I kept so I kept telling myself to um, delay my update just one more day. You know, I I'm pretty close with Eternal, so I thought that just delaying my update for one or two days would be enough for me to hit pan, but no, it's already the end of August and it's already the end of the month. Still, I haven't hit pan on this. I I was supposed, I wanted to wear something cooler today, but since I wanted to really hit pan on this, I decided to just go for my normal warm shadows that I've been wearing for two months now because I've been trying to hit pan on Saturn and Eternal, but no such luck yet, but it's okay. I'm still enjoying the warm shadows, but I can definitely hit pan on internal for my next update. But for Saturn, uh -uh. it's it's so hard. It's so hard for me to hit pan on shadows, and Saturn is really almost brand new when I roll this in. Every time I do my makeup, I wear Saturn, even just for a hint of warm just to incorporate satin in my eye looks just to get some use out of it and you can you can tell there's barely a dip in it satin really shows you how long i take to hit pan on a product if it's brand new so um the other shades they weren't really that brand new before because i've been rotating 
through them for the past almost three years now but for Saturn I barely reach for it so it's almost brand new and yeah I take a long time to hit pan on my shadows so saying that I'm gonna continue using Saturn I'll probably roll Saturn out later on but I'm still enjoying the shade so I'm gonna continue it I mean the formula is amazing so that helps like comparing it with Let's Do It from Colourpop, you can definitely tell the difference from the formula. And then Eternal, I'm also gonna keep it probably around two or three uses out of hitting pan of this. So I'm gonna just keep it for now. So there, very warm shades, light, dark, and orange. Since I hit pan on two shadows, I'm going to roll those out and choose two, uh, two new shadows for my October quintet. And just an update, since I've hit pan on two more shadows, I now only have 13 shadows in my project that is eligible for this rotation. Like, I have more pans than 13, but um, like for example, I have 14 more pans, but I didn't include it in this project because I don't like panning new shadows like you, you can like you saw my saturn saturn was almost brand new when i rolled it in and i barely have a dance so can you just imagine how long i'll take to hit pan on a vi almost brand new um eyeshadow so i'm not rolling in new shadows ever and also there are some shades in some of my palettes such as like i mentioned shredded i don't include it in my rotation because i don't like to focus on them because I hate the color. I don't want to be stressed with this project. So yeah, I only included shadows in here that I wanted to hit pan on, that I wanted to use. So yeah, 13 shadows all in all for this project. So the first replacement will be number 12. Number 12 is from my Sphinx palette. It's from my Prism palette and it's in the shade Sphinx. Oh, nice. Sphinx. Sphinx is this bronzy shade. And if you guys watch my favorite and least favorite shadows in every palette, this is actually my favorite shadow from this palette. So I'm quite excited to um, use it. It's just sad that we are in quarantine, so I can't really go out and <laughs> flaunt this shadow to the world. So yeah, that's it. That's kind of sad because this is my favorite shadow but there's no one to see it but it's okay I can still enjoy the shadow just for myself so this is Sphinx it's just a warm bronze shade and I really like it so far this is going to be a very warm quintet again and then the last shadow that will um, complete my quintet for October will be number Five. Finally, this is from my Zoeva palette and it is pure ganache. This is also my favorite pal favorite shadow in this palette and you can tell that this is the only shadow in my palette in this palette that does not have any pan yet. I've been trying to hit pan on this but since it's not a part of my quintet, I didn't have a a lot of chance to do it and also since this is also warm I've been trying and I've been focusing more on eternal I haven't really reached for it for this lately but finally it's now in my rotation so I hope to hit pan on this pure ganache and finally have a whole palette with pants in all the shadows so I'm so glad that this is a part of my quintet like the formula of this the color of this it's so beautiful. It's really my favorite from this Zoeva palette. So this is pure ganache. Obviously, I have a very warm quintet again. It's the third month in a row where I have very warm shadows. So it's probably telling me to, to go back to warm shadows because for a time, I've been really more into um, just bronzes and neutrals. And I'm still into bronzes and neutrals, but this project is probably telling me to go back and play with some more of my warm shadows and yeah it's very 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 warm it's they're all very orange 
but that's okay because I'm already about to hit pan on Eternal. So after hit pan, I can now also focus on pure ganache. So there, that's it for my quintet for October. So that's it for me. This is just a very short um, update because there's really not much to tell. So yeah, the, we are now on the last three months of the year. So I'm quite happy with the progress that I've made so far this year and I hope to be able to hit pan on a lot more shadows within three months before the year ends like can you just imagine it's so fast but yeah that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you had fun and if you're following this project thank you very much and yeah if you guys are interested don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on my next video bye